Hey everyone, Brent here from Glorious, where we set goals, hit goals, and make new ones. Today we're talking about quadrillion token. As a reminder, this isn't investing strategy. This isn't financial advice. I'm not affiliated with quadrillion token at all. I just came across this project and I want to talk about it with you guys today. As a reminder, again, do your own research. Figure out if the project is right for you before you invest in it. So let's talk about quadrillion token. So what is quadrillion token? It is an awesome name. Obviously, you hear about million, billion, trillion, but seldom do you hear quadrillion. And their goal is, if you actually look at their vision on their page, it's a unique way of burning, donating, and rewarding holders automatically. They're focused to increase the value of quad. They're starting with one BNB equals one quadrillion quad, and they want to take it to this level, 0 0.00001. So I definitely think it's interesting. Uh, they're obviously a fairly new token. So there's, you know, a lot uh, of things that they have to do, but I think they've made a lot of good progress from, you know, for only being uh, around for such a short amount of time. So you can check on their page right here. They have 65 holders. Uh, their market cap, again, fairly new. They're not listed on anything major. I just came across this project. Thought it was interesting, to be honest. I saw the name and it really drew me in to learn more about this. But they've this number is actually interesting. They've already burned 77 trillion uh, tokens, uh, and I think that just happened, uh, you know, pretty recently. So that's um, kind of crazy that they made so much progress that they've made. I think in the first day or in a single day, they they got 62 out of these 65 holders. So a lot of hype, a lot of people interested in it and are jumping aboard on this project. Again, do your research and figure out if this project is for you. But definitely uh, off to a great start. Uh, I think one big thing that they're trying to do is they're trying to give back. If you go down here, they're actually giving back to charity, which I think is awesome. Uh, a lot of these new cryptos are getting into, you know, really giving back to the community and giving to charities. And that's awesome because, you know, if you're investing money and it's going to, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's, it's helping support uh, the project, but it's also knowing that you're supporting a charity, helping make the world a better place, I think is awesome. So they're giving back to society. They're sending a donation to uh, Binance Charity, and they've already donated, I think, uh, 0.5 BNB, and uh, I saw that somewhere on their website. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's awesome that they're making these donations, even being such a small project. Right off the bat, they wanted to focus on, hey, um, you know, we want to give back as soon as possible. And, you know, I think that's a, a really good thing to do, especially um, the now um, with everything going on. Um, they also distribute, and I think this is something else that others do as well. They distribute 3% of every transaction to all their holders. So, you know, obviously you get uh, more benefit for being early. And it's right here, the static rewards. And, you know, I, I think uh, like a lot of coins are doing this where if you're in early, you get the benefit for jumping on and the more and more people join, you get those rewards for being a long time holder. I, I think it makes a lot of sense and it really encourages people to stay with the project long term, especially something like this, which is, you know, just starting and they have a long ways to go, but a lot of exciting things along the way if you take a look at the roadmap. So I think that's uh, definitely interesting. So if you actually take a look at the roadmap and see everything that they, they plan to do, token creation, direct launch on PancakeSwap. Again, it, it's so early. Uh, a lot of these things are still in progress. Target for 100 holders. I mean, I, they're definitely going to hit it. And, you know, audit smart contract, promotions, trying to get 500 holders. I think one thing, listing on C, uh, CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. Again, it's good to lay out the specific goals and the strategies in order to get that. Um, I saw that ownership on the account is renounced so that no further modifications can happen on the contract. So yeah, a lot of good things are happening. 100% uh, of the liquidity is locked on the DXL, DXSale.app. And yeah, so a lot of the good things are happening. 1%, yeah, so a lot of good things are happening. 100% of the liquidity is locked on the DXSale app. And yeah, just a lot of good things. Like it seems like they're, they're doing all the right things and they've made a lot of progress in such a short amount of time. In Q3, they want to release a white paper, target 10,000 holders, list things on exchanges and partnerships. And yeah, I think they are doing all the right things. They know exactly where they need to go. I think if you look at other projects, 
they they're not as focused and as you know th these guys know what they want to do and what they need to do to get it accomplished uh, and i think that that's pretty impressive so if you are interested in purchasing and remember do your own research etc you can always click the buy quad and it's going to take you directly to pancake swap and it'll tell you a little bit uh, you know about the transaction and you know it's right there so again if you're familiar with pancake swap i'll probably make a video in the future about pancake swap and, and how to use it and how to buy quad and I think there's just a lot of interesting things about this project. And again, it's cool how you could just track everything going on here. And yeah, community driven. I mean, it's it says good summary here. Community driven, static rewards, automatic burning, and then charity donation. I think those are all the right things that a project should go after. And you know, it just gives you faith that they are doing all the right things. And even though the project is still early on, they still need to build up their social presence and their followers, etc. I think once people hear about this project, and that's kind of what I brought to you guys today, is it's just interesting. And I think that it's just something to keep your eye on. I could see people getting behind this pretty easily. And if you actually go to the, the chart now, obviously, um, you know, there hasn't been much progress on it again, because it's still fairly new. I mean, if you look at the first day, I think it's literally one or two days old. But yeah, again, uh, I think it's definitely awesome that they've made, you know, that they've done so much in a short amount of time. They have good branding and, you know, I think the overall vision of this um, coin is um, something to keep your eye on and people have already started to jump on. And like I said, uh, do your own research, try to figure out this project is for you. I'm gonna keep you guys updated when I hear more about this project and, you know, I'm interested to see if there's more holders and, you know, what they do with their charity donations and, uh, you know, Anything else they could possibly do? You saw I showed the roadmap. So figuring out, you know, how much of those goals are they hitting, which I assume that they'll be hitting pretty soon. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you, this seems interesting to you. Let me know if you're actually a backer of Quad. And yeah, um, you know, this is definitely a project I'm gonna keep my eye on, and I'll definitely keep you guys updated when I learn more. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.